Well, now the news now and the latest reports coming in from Libya and according to sources, the Libyan Prime Minister has dismissed the Foreign Minister Najla al magnoush who has fled to Turkey. An action against al magnoush came following uh, the recent meeting with her Israeli counterpart. While an Israeli official says the meeting was pre-planned, the Libyan authorities have called it a chance encounter. But news of the meeting has led to widespread protests across Libyan cities. And according to a report by Reuters, an Italian hosted meeting between Israeli Foreign Minister Eli Cohen and Magnoush was agreed in a uh, advance at the highest levels. The official also said the meeting lasted for more than an hour. The meeting prompted protests on the streets of several Libyan cities and led to the Libyan Prime Minister issuing a temporary suspension as well. Wallahi la. أنا طبعا نحن ضد التطبيع الحقيقة اليهود هذونا أعداء يعني ومشردين شعب فلسطين وناس يعني يعاملوا في الفلسطينيين بلا رحمة ولا حتى جزء من الحق ما يعطوش بيهم فيه ونسجب التقابل هذا مع إسرائيل والاجتماع مع إسرائيل وخاصة إذا كان تمت التطبيع وإذا كان اللقاء هذا صحيح وما هوش تركيب وكذا حقيقة والله لا يقبل ابدا خاصة من الليبيين. احنا مع الشعب الفلسطيني قلب وقالب ولن نسمح بان تحتل ليبيا من اي دولة في العالم اسرائيل او غير اسرائيل. احنا شعب ليبي احنا شعب حر وما نسمحوش بالكلام هذا مهما كان. في اي لحظة في اي وقت احنا مع الشعب قضية الشعب الفلسطيني. شعب الفلسطيني شعبنا شعب عربي ويهمنا اكثر مما تتصور. Now, shortly after this, the Libyan Foreign Ministry issued statements saying that the interaction did not include any discussions, agreements or consultations. It added that the Foreign Ministry renewed Libya's complete and absolute rejection of normalization of ties with Israel. Libya has always denied any diplomatic relations with Israel. One of the main reasons for Libya's antagonism towards Israel has been its support for the Palestinian cause. Like several other North African countries, Libya has a rich Jewish heritage, uh, but during decades of rule ruled by former Libyan leader Omar Gaddafi, who was a strong supporter of the Palestinian cause. Thousands of Jews were expelled from Libya and many synagogues or Jewish temples were also destroyed. Gaddafi was overthrown and killed in 2011. Even now, the country is split politically among rival administrations. Uh, these are the Tripoli government in the west and another in the east, backed by the military strongman Khalifa Haftar. Even though Israel has normalized relations with some Arab countries in recent years as part of the U.S.-backed deals known as the Abraham uh, Accords, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's hardline government has time and again come under intense criticism from Arab states. This is because of the surging violence in West Bank and for backing the expansion of the Jewish settlement in the area. Meanwhile, uh, in Israel, opposition leader Yair Lapid criticized Israeli Foreign Minister Eli Cohen for going public with a sensitive meeting. He said looking at the irresponsible leak of the meeting of the Israeli and Libyan Foreign Minister, many countries are asking themselves if it is possible to manage foreign relations with Israel. And for more on this, our correspondent Jody Cohen sent us this report from Israel. In the latest, Libya's Prime Minister has dismissed the country's foreign minister for meeting with her Israeli counterpart, Eli Cohen. This is despite the fact that Mangush's office said the meeting wasn't planned or official. Mangush has now left the country amid fears for her safety. Israel said the two-hour meeting was pre-arranged and approved of at the highest levels in both countries. Two anonymous Libyan officials have also reportedly confirmed this to a Associated Press. There's been criticism of Israel's foreign minister for publicizing the meeting, however, with opposition members accusing him of damaging Israel's foreign relations, while the foreign ministry has denied leaking news of the meeting. This is Jody Cohen for Weon, World is One.